welcome to today class today we are having to have another science lesson we are going to learn about adaptation a very very important topic let's start with so what is adaptation when you go by the definition the process which enable organisms to adjust to their environment in order to ensure survival and then there came charles darwin principle who say survival of the fittest so we go into more detail of it later let's start with so types of adaptation when we learn about types of adaptation so there are two types of adaptation basically behavioral adaptation so which it inculcated only in the behavior and next after generation and generation that's come structural adaptation so structural adaptations they are inculcated in the body now they have changed after years and decades and into generation they have passed because that was the need to survive so a physical characteristic determined by genetics like genetic change so if there would be a genetic change then there comes a structural adaptation like protective coloration and mimicry okay like chameleon okay behavioral adaptation that is only learned or instinctical means that is coming from inst inside okay that is not in the structure but only in the behavior we'll have so many examples then you will come to know very clearly so physical adaptation can be a body structure when an animal that has a loss it to meet its need to the habitat to survive it bring changes in its body behavioral adaptation can be an activity that help an animal survive in its habitat like if i give example so if you take camel so camel has a hump that is a structural adaptation similarly cactus the leaves are reduced to spines that are structural adaptation like touch me not okay if you touch the plant it goes close so that may be behavioral adaptation so let's study about this penguins penguins that lived millions of years ago are thought to be short wing birds that swam instead of flew penguins now have flippers instead of wings so that they can swim better and they can hunt more easily so they have been adapted to the cold through their thick layer of fat which is called blubbers okay fat keeps the penguin warm so that is the structural adaptation now dinosaur everybody know that dinosaurs cannot survive and they have now become extinct that is because of the darwin principle of survival of the fittest so whoever is fit to change for a change for adapting itself in the changing environment that will only survive otherwise they will be lost or get extinct so you see chameleon changes skin color to look into its surrounding unicellular regulena moves to a dim light so that it can make food all these are type of adaptation so the porcupine face puffs off to look bigger when it is in danger so it's all like behavioral right which cactus will lose water more quickly see this has more of spines this has more of less spines so definitely this will lose more quickly now behavioral adaptation there are these types of behavioral adaptation migration hibernation method of gathering finding shelter like this and behavioral when you talk of adaptation i already discussed so there is in some books they have also mentioned about psychological adaptation a body process that help an organism to survive and reproduce so this is you can say a part of structure but they have mentioned it separately also right another one is behavioral adaptation that can be classified into two types instinctive and learned learned which we are learning how to survive in a best possible way and instinctive that come from within naturally and don't have to be learned okay now now let's go to the questions from adaptation the picture will also a kingfisher hold its wings before plunging into the water to catch its prey this is a kingfisher now see how mighty wings it is having and it is flying up in the sky and now 
to catch the prey, how it is making the body streamlined. So what do you think it will be structural or behavioral? Definitely it would be behavioral because the body is not changing. It is having this type of wings and which has been changed to, which has been changed to into a streamlined body so that it can run fast, and say not run, it can fly fast and then directly dive into the ice water and then it can have it prey. So the streamlined body gave it a speed and it helped to overcome the air resistance. But the point, so that is a type of behavioral adaptation. See, when a hedgehog is startled, a strong muscle in its back pulled it into a ball, protecting its soft underbelly and pointing its uh, spines up straight. So nobody will think there is an animal inside. They will think that some spines are just curled up into a ball. Similarly, see, elephants say hi. So these are type of adaptation which have been inculcated in the animals and uh, organisms after years and decades and generations, okay? So these are all fun facts about adaptation. The tumbleweed is a plant that tumbles or rolls. Have you ever wondered of it? So what did happen? That is only leaf for one season. And what is why it tumbles? Because now the they are no use to the original plant. So it detaches from the plant and only its primary vascular system and roots are alive. Rest all are dead. So it detaches from the plant because they are no use to the old plant. And it go far and far and then it's Seeds or a spore escape during the tumbling and they germinate when we then they find water and appropriate ambience, they germinate. That's how it's another type of adaptation and it's very, very interesting. Science is always interesting when you go by interesting facts. Psychological adaptation that changes in the metabolism and psychological activity of organism. The spraying of toxins by a skunk when threatened. So that is called a psychological adaptation. So you can see giraffe adaptation. It is so long so that it can reach high to eat leaves. Okay, you can see how, how the different type of adaptations, hoops were walking in the uh, greeny areas. It doesn't fall down. Okay, so you can see what type of adaptation you can ask the child to draw and learn all the type of adaptation adaptation of camels it has hum it has a nostril that help to protect from sand eyelashes long eyelashes to protect eyes from sand then the mouth is very very leathery to eat prickly desert plant when you go to desert there all the plants are very very spiny and prickly so it can eat the leaves even though they have a very thick fur so that it can protect us from sunburn and the hoops are very special so that it can walk in the sun easily. That's also called seep of the desert. So when you go for polar bear, you can see how many types of adaptation it has overcome. Like it has a very thick fur. It is white so that it can camouflage in the snow. Okay. And then it has small and round ears, which maintain the body temperature. So you can ask the child to draw when they are small and that way they can learn it very nicely and they will enjoy it. So thank you. Take care. Bye. Hope you have an enjoying session.